I wasn't sure if I wanted to be a structural engineer. When I was going through school, I was kind of tossing around different ideas as I was going through civil engineering. Um, and structures is a kind of a small part of that. Structure is geotechnical. Um, and I think I like more about my job, not necessarily the structural aspects of it, but the actual human interaction I have. Because pure structural design can be very just technical, grinding out calculations. And that doesn't really suit my personality. Uh, I wanted the more personal contact with people. And I get to do that through my job. I get to do that through project management. Uh, I work with contractors and clients all the time. At a core, that's what I like to do, is I like working with people to solve problems. Describing my time at UBC Okanagan is, it seems like a large question. Um, the, the specific thing about it that's different is that it's a fairly small group of engineers that are going through. I really enjoyed the intimate atmosphere. It, it helped me just settle in. It really allowed me to just say hi to people while I'm walking around. It, if you're having trouble with, with a problem in engineering, you can look around and see other engineers. And it was nice that you could just go through and talk to other people in your, in your class. Uh, it just felt easy that way. As you're getting into your third and fourth uh, and your last year of school, you, you're starting to get more technical, you're starting to understand what you want to do a bit more. And from that, you can, you, you're more interested in what you're actually taking. The co-op program at UBC Okanagan really helped me develop what I am, I guess, today as an engineer. Um, it really gave me a sense of what was out there in, in industry. I, I did all three of my co-ops in very different things. I spent uh, eight months doing geotechnical engineering. Uh, my second placement was with Engineers Without Borders, and I was in Malawi. I was working with the Ministry of Health there to kind of test out this hypothesis of why their sanitation programs weren't working as effectively as they should be. But Engineers Without Borders really helped me develop my critical thinking skills, which is a definite requirement to be a successful engineer. Critical thinking is a skill that really is developed by experience and failing. And it's kind of failing forward, right? You don't want to fail and stop there. You want to fail forward and, and see how can I use this experience and learn from it. Um, my time at UBC Okanagan really helped me develop that, it helped me get a sense of what was out there. And ultimately, I landed a job after school based on that experience. And engineering at UBC Okanagan helped me do that. Now that I'm working, I have an understanding, whereas before I didn't, of what I've actually learned in school and how it's helping me. My name is Will Patterson and I'm a design engineer.